Good morning all of you. Welcome to today's quant quiz. The topic for today's quiz is percentage. So let us start. Question number one is a person saves 6% of his income. Two years later his income will be increased by 15% but the value of his savings remains the same. Find the hike in his expenditure in approximate percent. Let us suppose that the income of man is rupees 100. Then his savings would be what? 6% of his income which is 6. Now what happens after 2 years his income increases by 15% 15% over 100 so new income new income of the man is 100 15 rupees 15% 15 of 100 is 15 but the value of his savings remains the same which means still saving is equal to 6 so new income minus savings is new expenditure this is what 15 minus 6 9 so 109 is the new expenditure initially his expenditure was 100 minus 6 equal to 94 so from 94 to 109 what is the increase increase of 15 over 94 this in percentage terms is what we need to find out 248 27 14 250 times is this so this is 750 by 47 uh, let us divide this straight away because 47 is a prime number 47 15 minus 7 is 8 280 47 4 times 5 times 6 times 6 7 42 carry 4 6 4 24 4 ok so 47 into 6 is 282 so we can take this to be approximately equal to 16 percent because this is 15 point something 99 kind of thing so among the options we have been given 16% as one of the options hence it is the correct choice question number two in a mixture of milk and water the proportion of water by weight was 75% if in 60 gram of mixture 15 gram water was added what would be the percentage of water weight in gram okay so there is a mixture of milk and water the proportion of water by weight was 75% okay if in 60 gram of this mixture so 60 gram of this mixture means the weight of water is 75 percent that is 3 by 4 of this this is equal to 45 grams what we are doing is we are mixing 15 gram of water then we need to find the percentage of water so 45 is already there we are mixing 15 grams so it uh, becomes 60 gram water and the total mixture becomes 60 plus 15 that is 75 so 60 is what percent of 75 this is what we need to find out 15 4 times 15 5 times 4 by 5 shows what it shows 80 percent hence option E is the correct choice question number 3 it says Mr. Adit's age is 120 percent of his wife Sunita's age they have two children the average age of family is 20 years if Sunita's age is 25 years what is the average age of both children so Sunita's age is 25 years and Mr. Adit's age is 120% of his wife Sunita's age 120% means 6 by 5 so 6 by 5 of Sunita's age is equal to Aditya's age this is equal to 30 years now total age of Aditya and his wife Sunita is 25 plus 30 55 the average age of family is 20 years there are two children 2 plus these two people Aditya and Sunita they together make 4 people so total age of the family would be 4 into the average that is 20 if we subtract from total age the age of Aditya and his wife we will get the age of 2 children what we need to find is we need to find average age of both children so this is the sum of the uh, ages of these two children so to find their average we need to divide it by 2 so let us solve this this is 80 minus 55 upon 2 uh, 25 upon 2 equal to 12.5 years hence option option B is the correct choice question number 4 the present population of a city is 43,350 what was the population of the city two years before 
if the population reduces at the rate of 15% per annum okay so population reduces at 15% per annum 15% is what 15% is 3 by 20 3 by 20 so reduction of 3 by 20 let us suppose that the population of the city two years before was x then there would have been a decrement of 3 by 20 so decrement of 3 by 20 means 1 minus 3 by 20 that is 17 by 20 this is the fraction that is remained so 17 by 20 1 times x is the population of the city two years before so this population is the population of the city one year before now present would be another decrement of 15 percent so fraction remained is 17 by 20 this is the present population which is 43350 let us solve this 17 is a prime number so let us divide by it 17 2 times 34 93 17 5 85 17 5 85 okay. 17 1 times is 17 5 85 okay so x from here equal to 150 into 400 this is nothing but equal to 60,000 hence option A is the correct choice moving on to question number 5 a shopkeeper marked his goods 60 percent above its cost price and gave a discount of 25 percent on it if he had marked his goods 80 percent above the cost price and gave a discount of 20 percent on it then find the latter profit earned is what percent of the profit earned earlier okay let us suppose that the cost price of the goods is rupees x then in the first case mark price would be 60 percent of the cost price which is x into 16 by 10 and then on this mp a discount of 25 percent is being given so discount of 25 percent means discount of 1 by 4 so the fraction remained would be 1 minus 1 by 4 that is 3 by 4 so 3 by 4 of this this is the selling price of the goods in the first case if we solve this we will get what mm, 4 4 times is 16 x into 12 by 10 this shows what this showed shows a profit of 20 percent okay here the profit percent is equal to 20 percent or the profit is equal to 20% of CP that is X whether we take percentage profit percentage into consideration in this particular question or we take the core profit that is the value of the profit the answer would be the same in the second case SP would be what cost price into markup of 80% 80% means 18 by 10 then on this MP a discount of 20% is being given 20% discount means 1 by 5 so remaining is what 4 by 5 so 4 by 5 here uh, this can be written as like this 8 by 10 18 into 8 is 144 upon 100 X this shows what this shows a profit of 44 percent so earlier the profit was 20 percent now the profit is 44 percent we need to find later profit earned is what percent of profit earned earlier so 44 is what percent of 20 this is what we need to find out so simply this one is what 5 4 20 to 5 4 20 20 to 220 percent is the correct choice hence option D is the correct option question number six the mark price of a radio set is rupees 480 the shopkeeper allows a discount of 10 percent and gains 8 percent if no discount is allowed his gain percent would be okay so mark price is 480 rupees mark price is given by what MP is equal to uh, 480 selling price is equal to MP into fraction remained after the discount is applied okay. so selling price would be equal to what Ma mark price 480 multiplied with discount of 10 percent means discount of 1 by 10 so fraction remained would be 1 minus 1 by 10 that is 9 by 10 this is 9 by 10 this is the selling price 
नाइन एट सेवेंटी टू कैरी सेवन नाइन फोर थर्टी सिक्स एंड सेवन इज फोर थर्टी टू इट सेज दैट ऑन दिस सेलिंग प्राइस देयर वॉज अ गेन ऑफ एट परसेंट सो आई कैन राइट सेलिंग प्राइस टू बी इक्वल टू गेन ऑफ एट परसेंट मीन्स वन हंड्रेड एट बाई हंड्रेड ऑफ सी पी इज इक्वल टू द सेलिंग प्राइस फ्रॉम हेयर वी कैन कैलकुलेट द सी पी वन हंड्रेड एट फोर टाइम्स इज दिस सो सी पी इज इक्वल टू रुपीज फोर हंड्रेड नाउ इफ नो डिस्काउंट इज अप्लाइड देन द आर्टिकल और द रेडियो सेट वुड बी सोल्ड एट रुपीज फोर हंड्रेड एट्टी सो देर वुड बी अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ वर्ट एम पी माइनस सी पी दैट इज प्रॉफिट ऑफ एट्टी ओवर सी पी ऑफ फोर हंड्रेड दिस रेशियो इज वर्ट वन बाय फाइव वन बाय फाइव शोज ट्वेंटी परसेंट प्रॉफिट हैंस ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट चॉइस क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन राहुल बॉट टू साइकिल्स फॉर अ टोटल सम ऑफ रुपीज फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड ही सोल्ड वन साइकिल एट ट्वेंटी परसेंट लॉस एंड द अदर साइकिल एट ट्वेंटी परसेंट गेन If the selling price of both the cycles is the same, find the cost price of the two cycles. Okay. So total cost price of both the cycles is rupees fifteen hundred. Let us suppose that the cost price of this cycle is rupees x, and the cost price of this cycle is rupees y. Then this cycle was sold at twenty percent loss. So selling price of this cycle. This is CP. Selling price of this cycle would be equal to twenty percent loss means loss of one by five, so remaining is four by five. So four by five of CP that is X. This is equal to the selling price of this cycle. Whereas this was sold at twenty percent gain. Twenty percent gain means gain of one by five, so uh, the multiplying factor would be one plus one by five because it is the case of gains six by five. Here the selling price would be six by five of cost price that is rupees Y. According to question, both of these selling prices are same. So let us equate these two. Four by five x equal to six by five y. So very simply, x by y is equal to six by four, which is nothing but three by two. Let us suppose that value of x is equal to three k, and that of y is equal to two k. Then x plus y, that is three k plus two k, would be equal to the total C P, which is rupees fifteen hundred. Clear. So k is equal to fifteen hundred by five. We need to find cost price of the two cycles. Okay. So this k is equal to three hundred. Cost price of one of the cycles is three k, which is nine hundred, and that of the other is six hundred rupees. So nine hundred and six hundred are the cost prices of these two cycles. In the option D, we have been given six hundred and nine hundred. Hence, this is the correct choice. Question number eight. In an election, a candidate got fifty-five percent of the total valid votes. Two percent of the total votes were declared invalid. The total number of votes is this much. Then the number of valid votes polled in favor of the candidate is. Okay. Total number of votes is this much. This is about one lakh four thousand. Out of which two percent were declared invalid. So. Number of valid votes is equal to total into remaining two percent were invalid, so remaining ninety eight percent were valid. And out of the valid votes, the candidate got fifty five percent of the votes, and that is what we need to find out number of valid votes polled in favor of the candidate. So fifty five percent of the this is what we need to find. Let us find it out. Two zeros, five eleven times, five twenty times. One of the zeros to this is what forty nine times. Yes. So one zero four into forty nine into eleven is what we need to find. Forty four into forty nine. Nine four is uh, this can be written as fifty minus one. Five four twenty carry two twenty uh, two carry two five one five two seven five one five minus one one double. Four. So this is what forty. Uh, hundred minus forty-four is fifty-six. One minus one is zero. Seven minus one is six. Five six zero five six is the required number of votes, which has been given in option D as the correct choice. Question number nine. Question number nine says two equal sums were lent, one at the rate of eleven percent per annum. 
for five years and the other at the rate of eight percent per annum for six years both under simple interest if the difference in interest accrued in the two cases is rupees one double zero eight find the sum okay so these are the two equal sums let us suppose that this sum is rupees x then on one of the parts or on one of the sums we get 11% per annum for 5 years at SI so interest obtained would be principal into rate into duration that is 5 years in the second case interest obtained would be x principal into because the sum is same for both the cases rate into the duration that is 6 this is 55x by 100 this is 48x by 100 obviously this one is a smaller so the difference between these two has been given equal to 1008 we just need to find the value of x so we will find it from here 55 minus 8 is 7x by 100 equal to 1008 7 1 7 7 3 20 no 7 4 28 again 7 4 28 so x is equal to 1 double 4 double 0 14,400 rupees this has been given in option D as the correct choice question number 10 there are some mangoes number of mangoes is greater than 5 in a basket out of which 20% of total mangoes are rotten two mangoes are picked up at random the probability of being at least one mango rotten is 17 by 45 find the total number of good mangoes in the basket <coughs> okay let us suppose that the total number of mangoes this number is 5x then 20% of the total mangoes are rotten so number of rotten mangoes is 20% that is 1 by 5 of 5x x and remaining number of mangoes are good mangoes so these are 4x in numbers now the probability of being at least one mango rotten is 17 by 45 and we are picking up two mangoes okay so if I find the probability probability that both mangoes are good and subtract it from one then I will get what probability that at least one is rotten simple so we will follow this we need to find uh, we have been given this this is 17 by 45 1 minus we need to find this this would be what when both are good then we need to choose from 4x good mangoes to choose 2 good mangoes and we have in all total 5x so from 5x we need to choose two mangoes so this is the equation let us solve this 1 minus this is 4x into x minus 1 upon 5x into x minus 1 this eventually will become 25x square minus 5x minus 16x square plus 4x here 25 uh, sorry this is 5 4x minus 1 this would be a 5x into 5x minus 1 4x into 4x minus 1 so 5x uh, 25x square minus 5x this becomes 9x square and minus x upon 25x square minus 5x as it is this is the equation we have now finally so this is 17 by 45 now let us solve this for the 17 5 is 85 carry 8 17 to 34 it is 42 minus 85 x equal to 45 into 994 36 uh, 360 plus 45 is 405 x square minus 45 x so from here we can see that 20 x square minus 40 x is equal to 0 or 20 x x minus 2 is equal to 0 
from here we have got two values of x one of the values is 0 from here and one of the values is 2 as x cannot be equal to 0 because then 5x would be equal to 0 and this cannot happen because 5x is the number of total mangoes in the basket so acceptable value of x is equal to 2 we need to find what total number of good mangoes that is the value of 4x it would be equal to 4 into 2 that is 8 hence option A is the correct choice direction 11 to 15 what should come in the place of question mark in the following number series problems okay so question number 11 to 15 are based on number series we need to find the missing term question number 11 is the first term is 738 then 765 819 900 and finally 1143 as the terms are not too far away let us find the difference this difference is what 38 uh, 745 then 27 increment of 27 this is then here 35 plus 19 this is uh, 54 then here we have got uh, 81 here 108 and finally this is what uh, 143 13 minus 8 is 5 so 135 this one so this is what let's see um, 27 3 times is 81 27 4 times is 108 so again gap of 27 27 27 27 so here it should be what 27 again so 135 plus 127 is equal to 162 so plus of 162 if we apply here we will get what 3 2 5 6 4 10 carry 1 3 1 3 0 5 so this is the missing term hence option C is the correct choice question number 12 the first term is the missing term then we have got 9 then 10 16.5 35 and 90 if you look at this this is what 9 into 1 9 plus 1 10 okay 16.5 2 times is what 33 plus 2 is 35 okay so this makes some sense into 1 plus 1 into 2 plus 2 between 1 and 2 we have got into 1.5 okay 10 into 1.5 is 15 15 plus 1.5 is 16.5 5 okay so this is how the pattern is let us check it here into 2.5 now plus 2.5 35 into 2.5 is what or we can write it like this plus 5 by 2 so 5 by 2 is common into 36 18 5 times is 90 okay so this is the correct pattern so likewise here it should be what here it should be into 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 so something Say, call it x if this is equal to x x into one point, uh, 0 0.5 which is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is equal to 9 then we need to find value of x is it so x would be equal to what uh, 18 17 by 2 or simply this is 8.5 8.5 so x is equal to 17 yeah so this missing term is equal to 17 hence option c is the correct choice question number 13 the first term is uh, 16 17 then 15 18 and 14 and then missing term okay we can see this pattern here that after 16 we have got 15 one less then again one less 14 okay and here is 17 one more than 17 is 18 then one more than 18 would be what 19 so this is how the series is here plus 1 plus 1 here plus 1 plus 1 like this so this missing term should be 19 hence option E is the correct choice question number 14 the first term is 456 467 446 477 then again 436 and missing term okay if you look at the series we may see that 
from here to here there is an increment then from here to here there is decrement again increment then decrement so this is how the series is let us find the difference Seven, uh, 67 minus 56 is 11 so positive 11 then negative of 21 okay here positive of 31 and here negative of 41 okay so plus minus plus minus 11 21 31 41 the difference between 11 and 21 is 10 here again 10 you may see that 10 is here so likewise here it should be 51 but of what plus minus plus so 436 plus 51 would be equal to 487 hence this is the missing term which makes option a the correct choice question number 15 and this is the last question the first term is 9 then 15 then 27 51 99 and finally the missing term okay if we look at the series then 15 is approximately twice of 9 27 is approximately twice of 15 a bit less than similarly 51 is a bit less than twice of 27 and same goes with 99 as well 9 into 2 is 18 minus 3 is 15 15 into 2 is 30 minus 3 is 27 okay same thing 27 into 2 is 54 minus 3 is 51 okay so this is the pattern let us check it here 15 into 2 is 102 minus 3 is 99 okay so this is the pattern again following the same pattern you will get what 99 into 2 is 198 minus 3 would be equal to 195 which means the missing term is 195 hence option 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 B is the correct choice so this is the end of today's quiz thanks and have a nice day hello everyone welcome to bankers Adda. today is day one of kar IBPS 2019 for the March month ASCII file coding decoding based hai. directions 1 to 5 study the following information carefully and answer the questions given below यहाँ पे वर्ड को रिप्रेजेंट किया गया है नंबर्स में तो चलिए कैसे देखते हैं लेते हैं वर्ड नीड एन की प्लेस वैल्यू है फोर्टीन ई की प्लेस वैल्यू है फाइव अगेन ई की प्लेस वैल्यू है ई और डी की प्लेस वैल्यू है फोर अगर इन सब को हम ऐड करते हैं तो हमारे पास आता है ट्वेंटी एट जो कि यहाँ है इसलिए क्लियर होता है कि जो प्लेस वैल्यू का एडिशन है सारे लेटर्स का वही वर्ड का कोड है चलते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर वन व्हाट इज द कोड फॉर पजल सिटिंग सो पजल सिक्सटीन प्लस ट्वेंटी वन प्लस ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्लस ट्वेल्व एंड फाइव जो कि इक्वल है वन जीरो सिक्स के नेक्स्ट आता है सिटिंग सिटिंग में 19 प्लस 9 प्लस 20 प्लस 20 प्लस 9 प्लस 14 एंड प्लस 7 दैट इज इक्वल्स टू 98 तो क्लियरली 106 एंड 98 इसलिए ऑप्शन डी हमारा करेक्ट आंसर है क्वेश्चन नंबर टू व्हाट मे बी द कोड फॉर टफ टी का कोड है 20 ओ का कोड है 15 यू का कोड है 21 G का कोड है सेवन और H का कोड है एट अगर इन सबको ऐड करते हैं तो हमारे पास आता है सेवेंटी वन जो कि ऑप्शन में नहीं है इसलिए ऑप्शन E हमारा करेक्ट आंसर है क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री कोड वन थ्री वन मे स्टैंड फॉर तो हमें सारे वर्ड्स को देखना पड़ेगा नंबर बड़ा है तो हो सकता है वर्ड्स ज़्यादा भी हों और या तो लास्ट एंड एंड के जो लेटर्स हैं उनको यूज़ किया गया हो अगर सेलोगिज्म देखें एस के लिए नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेल्व प्लस ट्वेल्व प्लस फिफ्टीन प्लस सेवन प्लस नाइन प्लस नाइनटीन एंड प्लस थर्टीन तो ऐड करके हमें मिलता है वन थर्टी वन इसलिए ऑप्शन ए हमारा करेक्ट आंसर है क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर 
वट इज द कोड फॉर दिस इज दिस ट्वेंटी प्लस एट प्लस नाइन प्लस नाइनटीन दैट इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी सिक्स एंड इज नाइन प्लस नाइनटीन दैट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एट इसलिए फिफ्टी सिक्स ट्वेंटी एट ऑप्शन बी हमारा करेक्ट आंसर है क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव वट इज द कोड फॉर टॉट टी ए यू जी एच एंड टी तो ट्वेंटी प्लस वन प्लस ट्वेंटी वन प्लस सेवन प्लस एट प्लस ट्वेंटी तो क्लियरली सेवेंटी सेवन इसलिए ऑप्शन डी हमारा करेक्ट आंसर है डायरेक्शन सिक्स टू टेन ये नॉर्मल कोडिंग डिकोडिंग का क्वेश्चन है ओपन विथ स्माइल ओपन यहाँ भी कॉमन है यहाँ भी कॉमन है और ए सी यहाँ भी कॉमन है यहाँ भी कॉमन है तो ओपन के लिए कोड हो गया है ए सी विथ हमारा फर्स्ट में और थर्ड में कॉमन है जो कि है डी एफ इसलिए विथ का कोड हो गया है डी एफ और स्माइल बचा तो स्माइल का कोड हो गया है एल ए नेक्स्ट इज योर ऑल सेविंग्स अकाउंट योर हमारे तीनों में है सेकेंड थर्ड और फोर्थ में तो योर का कोड है टी पी अकाउंट यहाँ भी है यहाँ भी है तो अकाउंट का कोड है पी आर ऑल हमारा यहाँ भी कॉमन है यहाँ भी कॉमन है तो ऑल का कोड हो गया है आर एस बचा सेविंग्स तो सेविंग्स का कोड हो गया है ओ क्यू कम एंड डॉक्यूमेंट कम और डॉक्यूमेंट के बीच कंफ्यूजन है या तो वो जी ई है या फिर एच जी एंड मेंटेन का कोड हो गया है आर टी क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स वॉट इज द कोड फॉर सेविंग्स ओ क्यू है इसलिए ऑप्शन ए हमारा करेक्ट आंसर हुआ क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन मेंटेन ऑल योर सेविंग्स तो मेंटेन का कोड है आर टी ऑल का कोड है आर एस योर का कोड है टी पी एंड सेविंग्स का कोड है ओ क्यू जो कि हमारे ऑप्शन ए में है इसलिए ऑप्शन ए हमारा करेक्ट आंसर हुआ क्वेश्चन नंबर एट पी आर स्टैंड फॉर पी आर स्टैंड फॉर अकाउंट इसलिए ऑप्शन डी हमारा करेक्ट आंसर है क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मे बी द कोड फॉर मेंटेन योर स्माइल तो मेंटेन का कोड हो गया है आर टी योर का कोड है टी पी एंड स्माइल का कोड है एल ए अगेन ऑप्शन ए हमारा करेक्ट आंसर हुआ क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन टी पी ओ क्यू पी आर इज द कोड फॉर टी पी इज योर ओ क्यू इज सेविंग्स एंड पी आर इज अकाउंट योर सेविंग्स अकाउंट इसलिए ऑप्शन सी हमारा करेक्ट आंसर है डायरेक्शन इलेवन टू फिफ्टीन अगैन ये भी एक सिंपल कोडिंग डिकोडिंग का क्वेश्चन है योगा ऑफ इंडियन कल्चर अगर ऑफ देखें तो यहाँ भी कॉमन है और यहाँ भी कॉमन है तो ऑफ का कोड हो गया है जी ए योगा है फर्स्ट और सेकेंड दोनों में है तो योगा का कोड अगर हम देखें तो जी एम ओ है इंडियन कहीं भी नहीं है कल्चर कहीं फर्स्ट और थर्ड में है तो कल्चर देखें तो कल्चर का कोड हो गया है टी आई एल तो इंडियन का कोड हो गया एस यू रिस्पेक्ट यहां भी कॉमन है यहां भी कॉमन है तो रिस्पेक्ट का कोड हो गया है जेडो
स्पिरिचुअल थर्ड में भी कॉमन है फोर्थ में भी कॉमन है तो स्पिरिचुअल का कोड हो गया है डी ए होली हमारा फोर्थ में कॉमन है और सेकेंड में कॉमन है तो होली का कोड हो गया है के आई एल कंक्लूड का कोड हो गया है एन आई सी एनर्जी का कोड हो गया है आर ए और हार्ड और ऑन का कोड हो गया है या तो वाई या एन ए क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन वॉट इज द कोड फॉर ऑन ऑन का कोई डेफिनेट कोड नहीं है इसलिए ऑप्शन ई दैट इज आइदर वाई और एन ए हमारा करेक्ट आंसर है क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व वॉट डज एस यू स्टैंड फॉर तो एस यू क्लियरली इंडियन है इसलिए ऑप्शन डी हमारा करेक्ट आंसर हुआ क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन वॉट इज द कोड फॉर एनर्जी योगा कंक्लूड कंक्लूड का कोड है ये एनर्जी का कोड है आर ए एंड योगा का कोड है जी एम ओ जो कि हमारे ऑप्शन बी में है इसलिए ऑप्शन बी हमारा करेक्ट आंसर हुआ क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन के आई एल टी आई एल एंड एन ए स्टैंड फॉर के आई एल स्टैंड फॉर होली टी आई एल स्टैंड फॉर कल्चर एंड एन ए स्टैंड फॉर आइदर हार्ड और ऑन तो होली कल्चर हार्ड होली कल्चर ऑन तो सी और डी दोनों हो सकता है इसलिए ऑप्शन ई हमारा करेक्ट आंसर हुआ क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मे रिप्रेजेंट रिकॉर्ड रेट ऑफ योगा योगा जी ए रिकॉर्ड और रेट का कोड नहीं दिया है इसलिए कोई अलग होगा इसलिए ऑप्शन बी दैट इज बी ए और एनी में से कोई एक कोड होगा रिकॉर्ड और रेट के लिए इसलिए ऑप्शन बी हमारा करेक्ट आंसर है Guys, आज हमारा मार्च डे टू है आईबीपीएस एग्जाम 2019 इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज क्वेज की आईबीपीएस एग्जाम के लिए क्वेज डिस्कशन है तो स्टार्ट करते हैं हमारे क्वेज से आज का जो हमारा क्वेज है दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन वोकेबुलरी एंड एक न्यू पैटर्न है यहाँ पर आपको सिनोनिम एंड एंटोनिम पे बेस्ड है क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन वन फिफ्टीन स्टार्ट करते हैं हमारे क्वेज से वो कैब बेस्ड है ये आपको फाइव ऑप्शंस दिए जाएंगे आपके क्वेश्चन में जिसमें से फोर सिनोनिम्स है एंड जो एक है वो एंटोनिम है तो आपको एक तरह से ऑड वन आउट करना है स्टार्ट करते हैं हमारे क्वेश्चन से डायरेक्शन वन टू फिफ्टीन इन द क्वेश्चन गिवन बिलो फाइव वर्ड्स आर गिवन इन विच फोर ऑफ देम Have a similar meaning, and one word is the antonym for the other four words. Choose the word opposite in meaning to the other four as your answer. Ablution, impure, lavation, purification, cleansing. Ablution. Yeah, we see ablution, lavation, purification, cleansing. The same meaning comes. All meanings come. Purify by water. Purify by water. Especially for any ritual. Purify by water. 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 एंड इम्प्योर का मतलब एंटोनिम है इन सब का तो आंसर हमारा है यहाँ पर बी क्वेश्चन टू डिपार्चर एडवेंट अराइवल ऑनसेट विजिटेशन तो यहाँ पर अगर हम देखें एडवेंट अराइवल ऑनसेट विजिटेशन सारे सिनोनिम्स हैं इन सब का मीनिंग होता है अराइवल अराइव टू अराइव एंड डिपार्चर का मतलब टू लीव तो आंसर इज एस्थेटिक क्रिएटिव अन अट्रैक्टिव आर्टफुल एस्थेटिक तो यहां देखें इन सब का मीनिंग होता है टू बी ब्यूटिफुल 
or attractive while अगर हम इसका देखें to being unattractive तो एंटोनियम हमारा यहां पर C unattractive क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर कंड्यूसिव यूजफुल प्रोमोटिव कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिव वर्थलेस तो यहां पर अगर हम देखें कंड्यूसिव यूजफुल प्रोमोटिव कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिव सबका मीनिंग होता है टू बीइंग हेल्पफुल टू बीइंग यूजफुल और हेल्पफुल वर्थलेस एंटोनियम है इधर तो आंसर इज ई Disagree, disapprove, corroborate, reject, invalidate. तो यहाँ पर अगर हम देखें, B सब synonyms हैं, इसका meaning होता है reject कर रहे हैं, corroborate का मतलब ये और agree. तो answer is C. Respectable, disgraceful, shameful, ignominious, inglorious. तो यहाँ पर अगर हम देखें, disgraceful, shameful, ignominious, इन सब का मीनिंग होता है disrespectable. Straight away, respectable आपका antonym है. Answer is Delightful, pleasing, good, unamusing, engaging. Delightful, pleasing, engaging, good. बहुत clear है ये. Unamusing हमारा यहाँ पर antonym है. Answer is D. Insatiable, fulfilled, pleased, suitable, satisfied. तो यहाँ पर अगर हम देखें, fulfilled, pleased, suitable, satisfied. इसका मतलब होता है satisfaction. कुछ जो हमें satisfy कर सके insatiable का मतलब होता है not being able to satisfy answer is A subtlety brightness nuance nicety refinement तो यहाँ पर अगर हम देखें subtlety nuance D E इन सब का meaning same है इसका मतलब being subtle Brightness का मतलब है being too loud. Answer is B. Agreeable, pleasant, patient, nice, petulant. तो यहाँ पर अगर हम देखें, agreeable, pleasant, patient, nice का मतलब होता है nice. तो antonym यहाँ पर है E. Petulant का मतलब होता है Annoying. Answer is Answer is E. Reproach, admonishment, censure, disapproval, exoneration. Question number 11 ka again E hai. In sub ka meaning ho ta hai Disapprove kar rahe hai. रिजेक्ट कर रहे हैं आंसर इज ई इंडिग्निटी डिसरिस्पेक्ट रिगार्ड डिस कोर्टेसी डिसऑनर इसका मीनिंग होता है यहां पर इंडिग्निटी डिसरिस्पेक्ट डिस कोर्टेसी डिसऑनर सेम मीनिंग होता है डिसरिस्पेक्ट करना to disrespect regard का मतलब होता है to give respect answer is C faintly, delicately, tenderly, sparingly, uncarefully faintly, delicately, tenderly Sparingly, सबका meaning यहाँ same है, 
uncarefully being careless तो यहां पर एंटोनिम है e समाउ कॉन्कर सरेंडर डिफीट एक्सीड यहां पर सबका मीनिंग है सेम यहां पर टू सक्सीड आंसर इज डी रेप अवेसिव ओमनी प्रेजेंट यूनिवर्सल रुबिकस तो यहां पर अगर हम देखें पवेसिव ओमनी प्रेजेंट टू बी प्रेजेंट एवरीवेयर रेड का मतलब है टू बी प्रेजेंट नोवे वेरी लेस द आंसर इज ए तो गाइस ये था हमारा डिस्कशन फॉर मार्च डे टू आईबीपीएस 2019 इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज क्विज थैंक यू